experiences. Hi everyone. So, this is a missing persons video to help find Jack O'Sullivan. In this video, I want to go over the Jack O'Sullivan case. There is a Facebook group and a website dedicated to finding Jack. Rather than do my thing and write a script today, I wanted to use the information solely from the Finding Jack O'Sullivan website. This is not due to laziness, but due to the fact there is a plethora of information regarding Jack's disappearance, and I believe this website is the most factual source of information available. So let's begin, let's take a look. So Jack O'Sullivan is 23 years old. At the time that he disappeared, he was 22 years old. He's 5 foot 10, around 178 centimetres. He's of slim build, with short brown hair. He also has blue eyes. Jack O'Sullivan has been missing since the 2nd of the 3rd, 2024, so a considerable amount of time. There is a £20,000 reward for, for um, any information in finding Jack O'Sullivan. Let's take a look at the circumstances surrounding Jack's disappearance. It is now over 100 days since 23-year-old Jack O'Sullivan went missing on March 2, 2024, following a night out in Hot Wells in Bristol. Jack, having attempted to get a taxi home, was last seen on CCTV on the morning of March 2 at approximately 40 minutes past 3am, walking up the Bennett Way Slip Road, heading back towards Hot Wells. Jack's phone was still active and placed him at an address at 40 minutes past 5am in the Granbury Hill area. His phone continued to be live on the network until 6.44am and nothing has been seen or heard of Jack since the early hours of that morning. Despite the authorities' efforts, the investigation has hit a standstill, leaving his family desperate for answers. Jack was wearing these items, as you can see. So it's a green khaki barber jacket, brown Ralph Lauren trainers, similar to the one in the picture, navy blue chinos, again similar to the one in the picture, and a cream knit lamb wool's jumper, again similar to the one in the picture. Jack also had the following items on his person when he went missing, which is a black leather card holder, his driver's licence, his house key, an air tag in a brown case, a Peugeot 108 key fob, a black iPhone 11 in a red silicone case, a boss watch, and his Monzo debit card. So far, none of these items have yet been found. Let's take a look at the timeline of Jack's disappearance and phone activity. At 1am, Jack messaged his parents with plans to get a taxi. At 17 minutes past 3am, the last confirmed sighting of Jack on CCTV walking onto the grass area at the junction of Brunnell Lock Way and Brunnell Way. At 24 minutes past 3am, Jack attempted to call a friend who was still at a party. At 25 minutes past 3am, likely sighting of Jack on the Pimsel Bridge heading towards Bristol City Centre. At 30 minutes past 3am, a friend called back, but the call was dis disconnected after Jack said hello. At 39 minutes past 3am, Jack is seen walking along Bennett Way. At 40 minutes past 3am, Jack is then seen on CCTV, walking up Bennett Way Slip Road, heading towards Hot Wells. At 5am, Jack's parents noticed he wasn't home. By 40 minutes past 5am, Jack's phone placed him at an address in Granby Hill area. At 44 minutes past 6am, Jack's phone remained active on the network until this time. This is a possible route Jack took before vanishing. This is also image of CCTV footage that might possibly be of Jack.
The website says, how can you help? They said they're appealing for CCTV footage. There were over 400 vehicles passing through the area during that time that Jack was walking and they urge any cars, lorries, vans, taxis or buses that might have dash cam footage to come forward. If you have any footage corresponded within that period that Jack was in the area, please report this to police by calling 101 and provide the reference number 522 4055 172. That's reference number 522 4055 172. They also said you can distribute posters and flyers. And I will leave a link to this website in the description of this video where you can also download posters and flyers. They said if you would like to help by putting up posters or dropping flyers, they'd be very grateful. They also said you could join the search. They organise regular group searches. The date and time of the next search will be listed at the top of this page and in the Facebook group. Again, I will leave a link in the description of this video for the Facebook group. They said if you wish to look on your own, above all, please stay safe and avoid any dangerous areas around water, busy roads or cliff faces. The map below shows areas that have already been searched and if you search a particular area alone, please let us know where you have been so we can keep the map updated. Until Jack is found, they said, we must keep his story in the public eye, and I completely agree. They said, please help us do this by talking to friends and continuing to share our social media links, this website and news articles about his disappearance. There is also a GoFundMe set up for Jack, which says Jack's family have been overwhelmed by the generosity of friends and strangers alike who have contributed to the GoFundMe campaign to fund the £20,000 award for information leading to find Jack. The reward target has now been reached, he said. However, the campaign has been kept open. Any money subsequently donated will now be used to help publicise the reward and to contribute to any costs associated in the search for Jack and anything not used, including the £20,000 reward fund, will be donated to the missingpeople.org.uk at such time that is felt appropriate or offered back to donate donators. Let's take a look at the frequently asked questions. If you would like to see where Jack was last seen, check out the map on the website. Where was Jack's phone found? Jack's phone has not been found, however, its location showed that it was located at an address on Granbury Hill and it remained live on the network until 6.44am. Was the address where the phone appeared to be located searched? Only visited once by the police and no further visits or searches were made following the first visit. Did cameras pick up the number plates of potential witnesses? They said please see the map. Uh, that was provided in this video and on the website. What areas in and around the Cumberland Basin Long Ashton Bypass Hotwells and Clifton area have been searched to date? There's also a map on the website. Has a mobile phone company been contacted? They said yes, the data has been seen. Has the route to Flax Burton been searched? They said a search has been planned. Did Jack have an Uber account and have they been contacted? Jack's Uber account hasn't been used, they said. Have the bus companies been contacted? They said they were trying to speak to them. If you would like to know which police force is dealing with the case, it's Avon and Somerset Police. Another question, has Jack's Apple AirTag been located? They said they tried locating it and sadly it hasn't been found as it wasn't registered correctly. Have the owners of the cars entering the clean air zone over the period been contacted? They said the CAS zone has been asked for this information. 
Have the harbour authorities been contacted? They said yes, they have been provided CCTV footage and all relevant information regarding tidal times, etc. Have places like cash converters, pawn shops, Vinted and eBay been contacted? They said some of them have, yes, but anyone offering to do any more would be great. So that could be another thing that people can get behind. If you would like to check eBay and stuff like that for any of items that may be similar to Jack's, um, please take a look. That would be immensely uh, important. And if you do see anything like that, do not contact the sellers. Please contact the police. Don't say anything to the sellers. Don't leave a message. Don't even try and help. Just contact the police and send them the link. That would be the best thing to do. Has Jack's debit card been used since missing? They said there has been no debit card usage. What about phone usage? There has been no phone usage since just before 7am on the morning he disappeared. And that was around 6.44am. Do you have a PR expert working on this? They said they are hoping to have someone to join them very soon. Future searches and gatherings. They are currently talking about the next steps and rest assured they'll let people know if there is and all the details well in advance. Have the missing persons register been notified? Frustratingly, the police failed or forgot to report Jack to the missing persons register initially, but he has now appeared on their Facebook group, etc. That's very frustrating. That's very frustrating. We need there needs to be an overhaul on how um, missing people and case uh, and their cases are shared across the force and into uh, charities and third parties that also share those appeals. Um, it's getting a bit much now. While we're seeing there's a lack of communication with the police forces, um, with those charities and um, other content creators when um, it's a very important avenue to use. Um, I know social media can be a, a right pain in the arse sometimes, but sometimes we, we can utilise it for the best of the abilities. And I think certain content creators, if uh, they're trusted, the police need to start trusting content creators and these charities so they can try and start sharing these appeals. I think... Um, uh, if they focus now on starting sharing information that's, uh, that they can share to the public, uh, missing persons posters, any images, um, information about the person that might be relevant, then it should all be comp compiled and presented to the public. Um, I think it's awesome what these families are doing. Absolutely amazing. But this shouldn't be their job. This shouldn't be their job. This is too much for a family to go through to also have to put on this whole campaign as well. Now, it's it's amazing to see they've got this ability, they've got the support to do this. It really is. But one day this is going to happen and we're going to have disastrous effects on the families and loved ones and friends of these missing people. And it won't just be them, it'll also be on those missing people too. We, we, we already see how these cases get prolong, prolonged by misinformation and we can't let it continue. Something needs to happen. I'm sorry to go off script there a little bit on the website, but um, I think that really needed to be said. I think Jack O'Sullivan's friends, family and loved one are absolutely amazing for what they're doing. Another question that was asked, were sniffer dogs involved? Dogs were, uh, were used on the water, but they were unaware if they were used on land, and they have since been denied to use sniffer dogs privately by the police. Again, that's not fair, is it? They need to start trusting certain organisations to be able to do these searches, and if they can contact these people respectively to search those lands, then why not? If there's certain areas that they're not allowed to go because it's been refused, then the family should be notified of that so then they don't get themselves in trouble. But they need to be notified of areas that they can search and um, 
denying him the involvement of sniffer dogs as well, I think is completely unfair. Is a private investigator being used? They said following a meeting with family and a missing persons advisor, it has been agreed that the donations above the reward amount will now be used to employ a specialist firm to advance the search for Jack. They said, how can they get hold of flyers and posters? And they said, they are available for download here, but I will provide them in the description of this video, along with the links to the website and the Facebook page. So if you have any information or you have any CCTV footage, please contact the police by calling 101. Again, quoting reference number 522 4055172. Again, that's reference number... 522-405-5172 For all other purposes including reporting information in connection with the £20,000 reward, press inquiries and anonymous reporting, please email them at findjack23 at gmail.com Let's find Jack O'Sullivan. Thank you very much for watching.